So Els, uh, it's very nice to finally meet you in person. <laughs> and I heard that your story is a very interesting one. So let's start from the very beginning. Um, tell us about your life growing up in Belgium and how you ended up here in uh, the UAE. Mm -hmm. Busy life in Belgium. Uh, I think a typical Western uh, woman who wants to be independent, uh, working hard, having a career, um, not getting married yet. Um, born in Christian family, um, very good parents who gave me all opportunities, uh, bless them. Um, but never really happy, never really satisfied in life. It seemed that you had everything. Uh, just, I'm just wondering, how did you end up in the UAE? Was it for work? Was it to visit some friends? Mm. And how did you end up staying? Yeah, 2008 was very significant. Um, first, I lost my mom. Um, she died. Then my relationship stopped. And then a friend invited me to come over here um, on a holiday. She moved here. She says, why don't you come to Dubai? You know, have a break, which I took, which I enjoyed. I really loved it being here. It was my first Middle Eastern experience. Um, and after the week, when I was planning to go back home, I lost my job as well. So it was like three losses in like half a year time, which was a bit like too much, too many signs like, hey, I have to do something with my life, you know, how many more reasons I need to, to make a change. After that month, successfully, I found a job. So I went back home again to my dad saying, oh, dad, would you mind if I move to Dubai? <laughs> so for him, it was a lot to take in one year. But he said, you know, you still have to build your life. If, if that's where you want to go, then go ahead. So yeah, alhamdulillah. Between 2009 and 2011, you were slowly starting to be uh, curious about mm. this religion called Islam. Tell exactly. me how, can you remember the moment that you, you know, you started having questions in your head that you wanted answered about uh, this faith? Mm. Um, firstly, there was always something, and I, I never forget this moment when I landed here. I was like, it felt like coming home, although I've never been here before. It was really something that, you know, that, that gave me this feeling like, wow, I, I want to be here. I, I, I love to be here. I belong here, although I'm not. Middle Eastern. Um, secondly, whenever I, I heard Adan, I was really fascinated by it. Like in the beginning, I didn't understand, you know, what they were saying. So this slowly, this first fascination. I was fascinated firstly by the culture um, for the local people, um, their habits, the way they dress, the way they smell, you know, the way they everything, you know. And then I moved on. So I thought, okay, so uh, the religion. Let's let's you know start reading about it. I bought a couple of books. Um, that I kept in my cupboard, starting reading it, and slowly, it's a slowly, very slow pro process. And then later on, you meet other people, you meet people who practice, you meet uh, people who inspire you, who encourage you. In 2011, um, I decided to fast. Um, so that was my first Ramadan when I fasted. Um, I was actually not a Muslim yet, officially. Um, but I started uh, having contact with sisters via the internet and via via via. That's how you get to know them. Um, who were reverts, a lot of revert sisters. So for me, that was also inspiring to see how did they come to Islam, how did they practice, and that's how I started um, having the yeah the more essential questions like what is the faith about. Um, and um, as I fasted, I realized that. You know, you don't need much food. <laughs> it's all about the modesty. And I, um, when I went outside, I didn't see the modesty that much because we were overwhelmed with food and the iftars and, and, and everything. So I was a bit shocked by that. Um, so I think my first move that I made was like expressing my, um, my feelings and trying to motivate people to be more modest because that was what I was reading. That's what I was learning. So I made this campaign that says uh, make iftar modest. It was actually just an awareness campaign on Facebook. Um, and I did that the first week of Ramadan. And then in the second week of Ramadan, some sisters took me to um, a sheikh. Uh, it's a sheikh of the royal family and Jabal Ali. And there uh, he has so much knowledge, very humble man with so much knowledge, bless him. He recites Quran uh, beside the Bible, vice versa. So you can ask him really everything. So I asked him like still some essential questions. And that same night, uh, 17th of July, I did my Shahada, and uh, that's how I became. <laughs> that must be a very special evening for you. The sisters cried, yeah, it was really very touching, yeah. 
And judging by your smile uh, and your obvious <laughs> happiness, I'm guessing that everything turned out well. And fast forward one year on, 2013, how will you spend uh, this uh, Ramadan? Yeah, this Ramadan uh, is going to be another special one. Uh, inshallah, let them all be special uh, trying that. Um, it's going to be my first Ramadan um, as a family, um, being married. And I also have a stepson. Uh, my husband has a son from his uh, first marriage. So um, I have a stepson, um, yeah, who's a boy of 10 years uh, old. Um, he makes it extra special because he's a special child. Um, he's Down syndrome, uh, mild Down syndrome, but he's a one, very wonderful boy and I treat him as he's like my own uh, son. So yeah, it's going to be our first uh, Ramadan. Actually, um, most of the sisters, um, bless them, the ones that we were with together um, in the previous years, most of the sisters got married. Um, some of them already have children, so there is like yeah, big evolutions and there's lots of du'a that happened and now we will gather all of us together with, with big families and you know <laughs> couches and uh, yeah it will be a very uh, very busy um, Ramadan this year. Yeah. Summarize what you've gone through you know ever since you from the time you landed in Dubai up to this day. A big revolution, <laughs> my internal revolution, my internal growth, my uh, spiritual development, um, and yeah, finding finding Islam, finding guidance, finding the sisters, being embraced, being welcomed by so many sisters um, and brothers as well, um, making new friends, and then um, yeah, eventually after Shahada, um, we had the opportunity to go for uh, for the, uh, the Umrah. Um, and then meeting my husband, so to finalize the circle, to say that, you know, you come to Islam and, um, yeah, there are um, um, possibilities to, you know, to grow even more and to gain eventually what you're really looking for, um, personal growth uh, when it comes to your, uh, your ibadah in Islam and finding a family and, you know, inshallah, to, to be a happy family.